So this is a loop y'all had some interest in. Um, I posted a video of you roping a colt and a round pin with it. Um, I like to use it in my colt starting because horses can't really see it coming and it's a lot less pressure than if you're just standing there swinging a rope. It's called a one, hand, uh, one swing hula hand. It's also pretty good in the branding pen if you're heading and heeling calves and that calf is standing towards you. Usually with the one swing and kind of the <laughs> less pressure of it, they're not gonna run away from you and you can stick a loop on them and head out of the pen. Um, this is one of the first loops I learned when I was learning to hold a rope, swing a rope. Um, I learned kind of a head shot, heel shot in this one swing hula hand. So I kind of have the hang of it now, but not every time. <laughs> um, so normally when you're swinging a rope, like if you're team roping, you're roping something in the pasture, that, that object is heading away from you and you're swinging this direction. So the hula hand, you're actually starting from this side and you're swinging this direction. Um, you can rope something if it's heading this way, but I like to use it if something is turned sideways from me, like the video I posted, that horse is running around the round pin this way, and I could get that shot on. Hold on, my daughter's running under the gate for the horse pin, so I'm going to pause and go grab her. <laughs> Alright, so something to keep in mind with that, if you are using it in the round pin or you're roping a horse or something, you want to keep that horse pushing. If you kind of step in front of that horse's shoulder, just like when you're lunging him, it's going to want to turn around and run back the other direction. So you're going to want to kind of stay at his hip if you're making this shot. Um, and you got to get the timing right, and that takes time to learn when that horse is running is where you're going to throw when they get there. So it's a timing thing for sure. Um, I just kind of started over my side here. So that's the loop I had in the video. Um, and this is kind of like if you're in the Brandon pen and that say that calf standing towards you this direction you can also it goes on pretty easy if they're standing this direction um and a big loop does not hurt especially on a horse pretty rare that you'll catch a front foot or something on them um i like a big loop in this shot it kind of opens it up and makes it a little easier i uh, hope this helped y'all out um i'll make a slow-mo video of that set a bucket on the ground or just pick a spot on the ground and make sure that your loop is landing nice and open on the ground. If your loop's closing up, you got a problem, but if it's landing on the ground nice and open, um, you, know you're, you know you're coming around and following through correctly and leaving a flat open loop for whatever you're catching to go into that.